Hello. Hi, good afternoon. This is Mr. McEwen. I am going to do a quick video on how to use um, claim evidence reasoning to produce a uh, scientific explanation. And we've been doing this in class for two weeks, but um, uh, this video will just help to clarify some of that. So we've done lots of investigations. I'm looking at uh, this investigation, which is uh, you're always going to be given some, either asked to come up with a question or be given a question. And our, the question I have here is, does the mass of the moon, does the mass of the moon affect the orbits of the objects in the system? So it's a very simple question. Um, we can use our computer model to change the mass of the moon going up and going down and get um, data on how the planet uh, affects the planet orbit, the moon's orbit, the sun's orbit. Um, and then we can come up with an answer. A claim is basically a statement that you think is true. It's an answer to this question. So I'm just going to answer the question. Does the moon, does the mass of the moon affect the orbits of the question, uh, of the objects in the system? So I was going to say, yes, the mass of the moon does affect the uh, orbits of the objects in the system. I can, that's pretty clear. I'm not using any numbers now. I'm not telling why I think that. I'm just explaining this is my answer to my question, period. I might even, I might say in many ways, if I wanted to be a little bit more. So there's many different things that can happen when you change the mass of the moon. So that's the first step. I didn't talk about evidence. I didn't explain my reasoning. I just answered the question. That's what a claim is. Okay, so I'm going to look at my data now, which I can't show you on this video, but I, um, I'm going to look at my data and I see that, um, for example, in, in run number, um, when I did the first run, I changed the mass and it <clears throat> caused the planet to crash <laughs> or to collide, which is a better word. So I will, will type, um, I will give that information as evidence. I will say in run number one, when I changed the mass of the moon to, to 90, the moon collided with the planet. Okay. So that's that's my first piece of evidence. Yeah. Basically it just gives my observations. That's what I observed. And the reason I put it as a point in evidence is because it helps to support the fact that the moon, the mass of the moon does affect the mass of the moon does affect the orbits. This helps support my claim that the mass of the moon changes how the moon orbits the planet. Okay. So I might do another one. I might, because that's one way that things could happen. So if I go the other way and say, when I changed the mass of the moon to hmm, to um, 20 and I should probably put the run in run number 4 when I change the mass of the moon to 20 the moon exited or left orbit and never returned. This is another case in which the mass of the moon um, affected the orbits, affected its orbit. Okay, very specific. Um, and let's just say um, I'm going to pick in run number seven 
when the mass of the moon was um, three, the moon had a stable orbit around the planet. So here's another, this is another way that shows the mass affecting the orbits of the objects in the system. In this case, in this case, the, the mass chosen of the mass helped the planet um, have a stable orbit. Have the moon and planet have a stable orbit. Okay, so from from a from a, a claim evidence reasoning standpoint, I need to plug in my. There we go. From a um, claim evidence reasoning um, standpoint, this is very clear that I said the mass of the moon does affect the orbits of the objects in the system. And I showed you three different um, outcomes. Colliding with the planet, the moon leaving orbit and not coming back, and then having a stable orbit. These are three separate um, outcomes of just changing the mass. And um, it's, it's a, a good way to write a very clear scientific explanation. So if I say, this is kind of like pre-writing. Everything from here down is pre-writing. Now I can, can write this in a paragraph form, which would be my final copy. It says, I think that the mass of the moon is very important and affects the orbits of objects in the system, then I can say I had three runs with very different outcomes. Um, maybe that word is not good. Different results. So we can results. And then I can list them. I can just say this and watch this. I'm just copying and pasting, which is um, showing that I've got the three examples. These three, oops, these three runs on the simulation <laughs> help to show what how important the mass is when to the orbits okay so it's very simple. I definitely could have went into more detail. I could have used a, a little bit more information in my evidence. Um, but this is a clear, concise scientific explanation. This would be in the four, five range. Um, I would want to go back and look at my vocabulary um, and um, look back at my data table. And um, I just this was an example of how we're going to go from the claim evidence reasoning to a scientific explanation. Okay? All right, thank you.